Hello everybody, yes sir, Nick back with another episode of Subnautica. Okay, let's see, so in the last episode, we added onto our base, we had a scanner room, and we built a Seamoth. So I think we need to go exploring a little bit more. Uh, there's a few things that we need to look for, but let's take listen to this message first. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Um, let's see. So we have... Some salvage to turn into titanium. I think we need to go explore in the direction that uh, that rendezvous point was. That sounded pretty important. So let's hop in here, clear out our inventory, and then I think we'll take a journey in the sea moth. Welcome aboard. Goes off. We were looking at building a battery charger, huh? So let's see. I have copper wire. Let's see if we have any silver. We do. Now, this is a bad idea to make at night, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. We need a single piece of titanium. And then make a battery charger. So battery chargers run off of power of your base, uh, but that's okay. We'll we won't put in any batteries right now. But now we have a way to continually power our batteries. Should we do? We have some water. We have. Uh, we, have we should get food and water. Okay. So it's middle of the night, so perfect time to go exploring, right? <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so life pod 19 second to Officer Keenan's last broadcast. 300 kilometers. Oh, yeah, one cool thing with the sea moth, it's uh, even better than the uh, the sea glide, is if I shoot up and I go up. Whoa! Breach the water like a whale. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'm the only one who likes that, but yeah, whatever. Okay, now, so Seamoth. The Seamoth does have power, so we see that on the right hand side. Um, I don't have a mouse to show you with it right now. Um, but we have power, we have health. Uh, so as you, if you crash into things or if uh, creepy, scary monsters try to eat your face off, which we'll have to be careful to watch out for. Um, but uh, that they'll take away your health. Now you can fix your ship with the there's the, I think there's either an upgrade to a part of the base or if you use your repair tool. Okay, so we're now going farther than we've ever gone before. So this is past the sea kelp. Actually, I think we kind of stuck our nose in in this area here before. Maybe, maybe not. Kind of scary at night. Ooh, so we can't go that far. We can only go 200 meters. So at the top, you can see how many meters deep I am. And then that yellow number is the... Ooh, what's this? It's an island. Okay, that's cool. The yellow number is how deep I can go. So even though... So like, the, it's called the crush depth. Um, if I go farther than 200 meters down... Let's just kind of explore. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. So we got some caverns. I wonder if there's any cool kind of... rolls and stuff around here. They're called magnetite. 
Uh, let's just pop out and take a quick look. Let's use that. Just limestone. Yeah, I think I have enough. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so that is quartz. Okay, oops, something to scan. A ruby. Well, don't mind if I do. Else, what's this? This looks cool. A gel sack. Okay. I can pick up the gel sack. Okay, well, let's pick up the gel sack. The creature egg. I don't need any of those yet. Grab a fish for later. This stuff. So pretty. Oop, another emerald. Or ruby, I mean. Scannable. Okay, it's an eye stock. Ooh. Leader. Oop, oop. Wasn't good. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to not like this area. Let's get out of here. Where's our seat mom? Air back. So I kind of want to go down here, but we let's go to like the maximum. Warning, maximum depth reached, Hull damage imminent. Yeah, so when you go too far, it starts to damage your ship. And if I exit, do I have my repair tool on me? I do. So now I can just repair it with the repair tool. So that's pretty cool. It's interesting down here. Here's the crash life pod. Another ruby. I feel like those are important since we're down far. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain? Okay, so that must have been when the Aurora... Hello, crew, if you're reading this, then you'll follow the automatic distress signal. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates. Okay, so we have something else uploaded, but... There's some Ultra high capacity tank. Ooh, we need one of those. Yes, very much so. Okay, not seeing anything else new. Other than a weird fish. You look weird. No, okay, I can't scan you. Uh, how much air do I have? Another ruby. Might as well grab that while I'm here. Sadly, I think I'm not prepared for this trip. So I'm going to run out of storage space. That's okay. Okay, so. Rendezvous coordinates. Yep. And there. Yeah, careful. Dry land. Okay, and it's becoming day, so that's good. Oh, that's weird. Guess we'll just kind of dock here and see what we got. So I can walk on dry land, get my scanner out. How much space do I have? I have a little bit of space. Let's go ahead and eat and drink a little bit. I'm going to get our health up. There we go. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Oh, sources, huh? Okay. Well, hopefully it's nothing bad. 
There seems to be pathing, so that's good. Back down to the to the beach. Okay, here's another path. A lot to take in. A lot to look at. Are these scannable? No? Oh, but those are. Scan everything. That's one thing I wish they had in this uh, old road tree. That one sounds familiar. They throw a tree serum to a coarse leaves, and now suggests that produced by this plant is poisonous insects but can be harvested and consumed by humans for high water content. So I can eat it. That's right. I think if I do that, I can go nom nom. Okay, I remember that. I don't think the game explains this very well, but there are certain things that if you cut, you can get a sample of it, and some of it is edible. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll take that back to the base with us. Uh, let's see, what else? Anything else scannable? Yeah, I kind of remember that a bunch of these weren't actually uh, edible, like these pink caps. I don't think I can eat those. No, it's just an alien flora. So they're decorational. Some of it's starting to come back to me. Ooh, there's a base up there. Okay. We're there. And try not to fall, because this seems to be a cliff face. Okay. Oh, there's a base up there, too. Okay, well, let's go. Let's see if we can figure out how to get over there. Um, so this here's the Aurora Rendezvous. I seem to be heading in the general direction. Hopefully I don't get stuck. I think I can jump, right? Yeah. Roar around it this way. Well, do I go up there? And eh, that place will stay there. Let's go look up here before I forget what's up here. Okay. So hopefully we don't find something too deep. We can't get up. There we go. Okay. So I wonder if. Did somebody try to build up here? That was some weird noises. If you didn't hear it, it sounded like rocks falling. Could have been just for me. Let's see. Surely not from people from the Aurora. That looks much too old. So far, nothing new to scan. Oh, okay. Well, I can scan that. Yeah, these are much too old. So, somebody else was here? Synthesized. They're acquired. So, bulkhead. Okay. Water, okay. Don't mind if I do. Indoor grow bed. Okay, cool. That's we need one of those. So now I can grow stuff inside. Burn palm. Grub basket. Bright petals. Observatory. Ooh, okay. So the indoor grow beds are good because now I can I think I can grow like the plants and stuff. Only grab. 
up because I only need one for now. So I think that's everything I can scan in there. Oop, a PDA. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We should have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Well, that doesn't sound good. What are you? Cave crawler. So that is a ground-based animal. Multi-purpose. Oh, okay, good. We need one of these. Exterior grow bed. Okay, that's good. Grow things outside. Chinese potato plant. Grab one of those. Okay, let's see. So we've got some small marble melon. We've got Chinese potato, lantern fruit. Um, I guess I can drop. Oh, oh what the? Oh, the right. You guys are dangerous, huh? Yeah. Forgot about those. You dead? Okay. Integrating new PDA. Okay. I'm injured a little bit. So I had used that. Can I pick that up yet? No, I cannot. Um, I don't want to drop anything really useful. Salt. There we go. Marble melon. So now I have big marble melon and little. Yeah, let's see. Is there anything else? Ooh, wall planter. What's that? Crate here. What's that? Stasis rifle? That sounds cool. Everything. Is there one of you? Oh. Huh? Oh. Battery. Ooh, another PDA. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of stormwater? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth, Chief, today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like. Let him go deep into the plants. Sergeant, go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgal, has visited Bard's habitat. Purple tablet. Hmm. And when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. 
this rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Ooh, that looks cool. Alien, ancient alien tablet. Hmm. Okay, another PDA. What is that thing? I don't know. So, I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn, damn sea monsters, monsters for all we know. know. One, One thing for sure, sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. New blueprint acquired. Okay, so we got some new phones. I feel like I'm reading, uh, listening to these out of... Five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut-price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive. As comfortably, as comfortably as possible, possible. Until, until the insurance company arranges rescue. rescue. And this, this part of space, space that could be months or even years. Okay, so we're not the first humans to crash here. And from what I gather, they were on a ship called the Degasi. I wonder if that's what we were doing here. It really hasn't explained what we're doing yet. Just that we had a whole bunch of supplies to build something like called a phase gate. But, I don't know. Alright, so we're going to go back up this hill, hopefully. Right. This way. I'm sure I'm going the wrong way, but whatever. There we go. Okay, there's a tunnel in here. It's getting dark, so that's never good. And let's go back this way. Turn the flashlight on. Whoa. <laughs> Bad time to look down. Ugh. That moon or other planet. Quite beautiful. I love... The one thing I love about this game is the uh, scenery and the graphics. It's quite beautiful. If this place has anything new for me to scan. If not, that'll be a waste of time. But, you know, worth the risk. Okay, see, at least one thing there. New blueprint acquired. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak, Speak up, up, kid. It's true, father. The natural, natural growth, growth rates rate are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest, the rest of, of your, your life, life may have been, been a fight, fight Mater, but, but I've, I've made, made my decision. 
You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay. So yeah, definitely other people that were here. It looks like they've been here, like they were here a long time ago. Just from the look of the decay on the buildings. Okay. Find those rendezvous coordinates. Huh? Do we have any encounter? Oh. What do you guys think? Huh? I'm going to do it. Oh, splash. Woohoo. Oh, give me a little tickle. Okay, so this is the rendezvous. Nobody seems to be here. Heard the norm. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Okay, so they said they were attacked by a Leviathan class predator. I'm not going to stick around to find out what that is. So, the second officer. And the executive officer, the acting executive officer, seems to be their con. Rendezvous it wasn't successful. Alright, so we found an island, so that's good. Um, we're going to head back to the base, store the wares that we got. We got some uh, new things that we scanned, so that's good. We're going to need to think about where we want to put our next base. Um... You know, I like to have like one main hubbed base and then kind of have satellites. Now, in the past, I've done it pretty simple and I've just kind of made everything uh, in the shallows and then made the satellites uh, you know, elsewhere. But I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool, excuse me, to build a base somewhere and do the blood kelps. You know, that'd be this, this red zone here. That looks pretty cool. Uh, oop, wreckage. I wonder if this is the wreckage we've been to already. Then we'll find out. Oh, or we've got other places we can look at. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Bioreactor, we already have that. Cut open to access. Okay, so I think we need that laser cutter. See, it didn't want to be scanned. Let's see if there's any like data pads, PDAs, anything like that around here. Scan in here. Mobile vehicle bay, we already got that. Not scannable. Okay, but I can open a door, so that's good. <laughs> Nothing to scan there. Nothing interesting in there. Nope, those are just doors to cut, and I can't cut any doors yet. Okay. Well, that didn't quite help anything. Salvage. Okay. 
Let's see if there's any anything else to scan. say without the laser cutter I don't think we can get in there so we'll have to figure out how to make a laser cutter what's this scanner room can't okay, have that already it's more salvage okay, anything up here okay all right so back to the sea moth head back to base and then I think we'll call it a day. We'll figure out, uh, we'll think about kind of what we would like to do in terms of where to put our base. Now I do have a couple of ideas in the past for things I've done. So I kind of like this area here. Um, there's a deep dark cave entrance in there, which I think would be cool to explore. So that's what southwest of the uh, of our base or we can make it here I mean this place looks pretty cool has a lot of access to scrap you have the shallows that place that we were just at with the islands I think that's a little too far away um, I mean, this kind of, I want to say this kind of keeps us a little bit more centralized. Just build off of here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll think about it. I'm sure by the time this episode comes out, I'll have already, uh, thought about it and started it. Um, I'm really bad at you know, recording a bunch of these consecutively and then kind of getting them out, so. Uh, that's why I don't typically like, like, say things like, oh, well, put your idea in the comments and blah, blah, because unfortunately by the time you comment, I will have already made the choice. So more so I just, you know, talk it out in my mind. Okay, gel sacks are good to have, so we've got a bunch of food. weird alien tablet thing. I guess we'll put that in there. We do need titanium. Because at the very least, let's see if we can put down a multi-purpose room here. Um, let's go with Habitat Builder on five. purpose room. Yeah, it will work perfectly right there. So you can do a lot of things with the multi-purpose room. Let's go in real quick, take a look. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. So, we can... Ooh, we can make a glass dome, that's good. Ooh, did they? They did. Okay. So this is one of the updates. Um, so in the past, you only had the circular multi-purpose rooms. You actually have the large room now available. Well, that that's cool. That's good to know. Um, this was uh, added in, in Subnautica Below Zero. Um, that's pretty cool. But So some of the things you can put in here. Uh, so if I go into wherever I can find it, so like a bioreactor, I can put that in here. And as long as we put uh, biomatter, so things like fish or plants in there, it'll generate energy, so that'll be good. Got things like bulkheads we can use, those will help create more stability. 
Um, we have our exterior grow beds. We have our interior grow beds, which let's just go ahead and let's see. Can I put one of these in the scanner room? Yes, I can. Okay, so now I can put it has a two by two. So I could put in the lantern fruit. Do I have any more titanium? I don't know. Oops, I, okay, I swear I'll end the episode here in just a second. Let's just. I'm gonna drive somebody crazy because I put it here in this scanner room. But I don't care. Put another pot right there. And then let's put in the bulbo tree. Okay, so those will grow in time. We'll have to make more around, but that'll give us a renewable source of food and water. And we'll we'll think about like kind of how more we want to do the base. I think we'll make this. We'll keep this the same like like what I've done in the past, to where this will be the hub. And then we'll have other bases. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm still undecided. And some people, they go crazy with their base building. I'm not that. I don't, you know, I'll think out some things and kind of, you know, decorate it certain ways. But I'm not going to go crazy with it. All right. So let's go ahead and head back up here. Let's see what message we got. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Nope. Well, that didn't instill confidence. But hey, there's somebody out there. And they finally decided to come back this way. So that's good. Okay. So let's head up here. Ah, the beautiful Aurora. All destroyed. We will have to go there and investigate that at some point. Okay, so I think we... The rendezvous, we went that way. Yeah, we had gone that way. And that was where we had uh, explored the islands and everything. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, alright. Well, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed the episode, a thumbs up rating would be greatly appreciated. And if you have any comments of some spots that you would like to see me base build, it might not be the, uh, the initial spot that I choose. But uh, still, I appreciate the, the comments and, and the suggestions of different areas. Where do you like to build? You know, and maybe that'll give me an idea to, where to build some other bases. All right, well, we will see you guys next time. You guys have a good day. And take care out there. And make that world a better place. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.